Hi, in this class, we'll discuss about the notation of duration part 2. Let us dive into this topic. Here, notation of duration part 2. Notation of duration part 2. In the previous class, uh, if you could recall, where we discussed about the notation of duration part 1. In this class, uh, we discussed about in the previous video, that is the uh, double whole note and the whole note, right? Now, what we will do is, we will discuss about what you mean by a half note and a quarter note. So, what do you mean by a half note and a quarter note is here. This uh, half note and a quarter note. So, what we will do is, we will take the same slide here and then we will explain through the, through the previous slide here. Okay. So, here in this case, we discussed about here that this uh, symbol, the whole note symbol, Okay, this uh, <coughs> the whole note symbol is like this, right? Now we are looking at a half note. Okay, so this is a half note, half note, half note. Okay, so if you could recall the previous video where I said the whole note means completely the four bits. So for example, you are going to take a four bits. So, you have to play completely 4 bits, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So, here uh, what we can do is, so here uh, I am taking this, uh, using this one here. That is, for example, so the whole note is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 times, uh, for 4 counts, we have pressed the key, right? Isn't it? So, same thing. This a half note is something similar to that here for every two notes for every two notes. So this symbol represents like this. Okay. So what is this symbol is here? You will get a one line here. Okay. One line here and this. Okay. One line here. So this one or else uh, we can remove this some space here. Okay. Yeah. We can remove some things here. And then again we can rewrite it. So I'll rewrite it, all these things. Okay. So here this is the C. Okay. And uh, this is the half note. This is the half note symbol. Okay, so this is the half note symbol. So what I'm doing is I'm placing this uh, half note symbol on the a ledger line below this uh, G clef. Okay, so this is a G clef, G clef. Okay, and this is a ledger line. Okay, a ledger line below just below the G clef. So this represents the note C. This is for a C note. Okay. Now, what we are doing is, so we are, our intention is to play this one. Okay. So, if you observe this th type of a symbol here on a G clef. Okay. Remember that. What you should do is, you have to play this one here, this uh, C here like this. Okay. So, the total beat is for any case. Okay. For one, for one measure, for one measure. So, for example, the total beats are 4, okay. So, if I use this symbol, <coughs> this symbol, okay. So, I have to play for 1, 2. I have to play for 2 counts, okay. For the first count, I will be playing 1 here. 1, 2 and I have to remove it, okay. 1, 2 and I have to remove it, okay. So, if it is the same thing, if it is the same thing for a, a ledger line like this, okay, so on the ledger line, if it is like this, okay, I am just showing you the difference here, the difference here. If it is this case, okay, in the previous case where we used a whole note, no, 
for the whole note the same thing will come like this one two three four so one two three four so it comes like this so this one for this one it is this set okay this is completely this set okay this is the one okay for this symbol yeah for this symbol you need to give like this okay so i hope you understood this one okay here this is the one for this one and this is the one for this one here okay so i hope you got through color differentiation you got it okay so this symbol represents whole note okay whole note means one two three four okay so i'll show the difference with the help of a difference here so whole note as well as this one okay so as well as this half note okay so the whole note means so i had to press this press this uh, c button right c button so for example c button so that is a c key that is for four counts so one two three four and i have to hold it okay one two three four so that is the whole note so now we are talking about half half note right so half note means we need to press it for one two then we have to remove it okay one two and we have to remove it okay so like this if I, for example if i have two times here okay this one i'm talking about whole note right so in the whole note i am talking about two times here that is this is the one okay two times then one more thing also i can do here that is a uh, this uh, whole note which i am talking about half note right which i am talking about half note okay so this uh, three four income so one whole note is equal to two times of half notes okay so instead of representing like this say for example if i play one whole note okay one two three four okay like this then i'll play it this instead of this i'll play this one here which is a two half notes one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so like this we can play so by using a metronome also we can do this one okay three four one two three four one two three four this is the whole note playing then how to play the half okay like this we can play this so like this we can play okay so one two three four so i'll be pressing the piano key button here one two three four so otherwise if i play whole note here one two three four and i'll be pressing it for all the counts okay so that's the way we play this one okay so i hope you got it this point okay now likewise similarly like this okay without any changing okay what we will do is we will be using this one here for a this uh, this is a half note no so like this uh, instead of half note we will be using it for a quarter note okay so quarter note how the quarter note will come is so the quarter note symbol is so is this, everything is same symbol so but actually this uh, e, this ellipse shape is there right so this uh, ellipse shape is uh, filled with uh, some ink here okay that's the only difference so there is no any difference here apart from that okay so for that what i'll do is i'll uh, take this same thing here okay and this one also we'll remove it so this one same shape here filled with something yeah then so if it comes here like this so this looks like this one okay one one then two three four okay 
so one two three four like this one two three four so like this we have to do this one also here okay okay so have a look at here So like this, okay. So like this will be. So this one is like this, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I now I'll differentiate with a half note and a quarter note, okay. So when you are playing this half note and a quarter note, look at here. That is a one, one. See. This is a complete whole note, okay. One complete whole note also. So one complete whole note is like this, okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the whole note. Okay, this is the half note. Okay, this is the quarter note. Okay, so one, two, three, four is the whole note. So half note is one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So likewise, this uh, quarter note how it will come is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. For all the counts, you have to play the button, okay, or else you have to play the respective key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, so like this you have to press for all the counts you have to press the respect to key button okay so for example here it is a c note so four times i press the c button so these are the things related to this a uh, half note and a quarter note topic so this class is related to the part two of uh, the notation of duration so this notation of duration what we have discussed is we have discussed the half note and the quarter note so these are the topics related to this uh, notation of duration concept. I hope you understood this concept called as a notation of duration. We'll meet again. So please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please press the bell icon and like it and share it if you enjoy the video. We'll meet again. Bye.